F980814, coveting the gifts. Lack of awareness is the next tree that must fall. The number one obstacle that prevents people from walking in the gifts is that they have no sense of the reality that I am with them. Has not the word said, I have come unto you forever? I am with you. I am with you forever, says the Spirit of Grace. Awareness of my presence is vital and key to operating in the gifts. Understand that I am with you, whether you are aware of it or not. But lack of awareness brings lack of faith. Lack of awareness brings lack of expectation. Lack of awareness causes the leadership that comes by vision and by the inward witness and by words spoken in your spiritual ear to be dismissed. Do not dismiss these things, for it is by these that I manifest the gifts through you, says the Spirit of the Lord. This is what the prophet meant when he said, My anointing comes as you stay close to my spirit. Remember those words. He spoke the truth to you. As you are constantly aware that I am with you, as much as you would be aware that any other person was with you, then know that my gifts are yours. Do not dismiss my leadings, my witness, my visions, or my voice. For these are things by which I operate the gifts through you. What I show you, do. What I say, say. Where I say go, go. How I show you to act, act. If you dismiss these things, I cannot manifest the gifts through you. But if you are aware that I am ever with you, and that these things are from me, and you perform your promise to me that you will obey without question, if you do that, if you follow through on that, then I will never fail you. I will never fail to manifest the mind of Christ in your midst, says the Spirit of Grace. Let me now give you initial instructions on every gift. The Word of Wisdom You will find that the Word of Wisdom operates primarily in vision form. Whether it be an internal vision, such as what you describe as teaching visions, or whether it be an open vision, expect them both. You will find that the Word of Wisdom also comes very often by dreams. You will have to learn which of these dreams are from me, and which are from natural sources. When a word of wisdom comes by vision or by dream, very often you will also hear my voice, speaking to your ear, interpreting what you are seeing. Sometimes you will hear my voice, sometimes not. But learn to trust these internal visions and these dreams concerning the future. You will become more and more expert with practice, as you expect me to manifest the word of wisdom all the time not just in services. The Word of Knowledge You will find that the Word of Knowledge can also come by vision and by dream. But more frequently you will find that it comes by revelation alone. Suddenly, you will simply just know. You will just know something that you have no way of knowing from the natural point of view. Knowledge from the mind of Christ simply imparted to you. One minute you know, the previous minute you did not know. This comes often. Expect it to come by revelation knowledge. Do not dismiss it. The gift of faith. The gift of faith must be expected. It cannot be operated by you, but it can be expected by you. Say often, there is no lack of faith with me. If I were to come to the end of my faith, then the Father gives me the very faith of Christ, and it is impossible for me not to believe. As you expect a never-ending supply of faith, you release me to manifest the gift of faith through you. Never take thought by saying, quote, I don't have enough faith. You have more faith than you know. But even if you were to come to the end of your faith, I will bring you his faith. And there is no lack of faith for you, my son. The Gifts of Healings Regarding the gifts of healings, most people fail in the operation of the gifts of healings because they are not willing to obey without question the instructions I give to them. The instructions very often seem bizarre, and they simply will not obey without question. 
I am speaking of such things as you see in the Gospels, where Jesus would spit and touch the tongue, where Jesus would spit on the ground and make mud to put on the man's eyes. The question why kills this gift. The question why kills the manifestation of the gifts of healings. These come by instant obedience and no other way. What I show you, do. What I tell you to say, say. Question not the motives. Question not the reasons why. Obedience without question will produce gifts of healings every time without fail. None shall leave without receiving from Christ what they came for. The Working of Miracles The number one obstacle to the working of miracles is natural thinking. Programming received by a lifetime of information through the five physical senses. Now this may hurt some, but it is regarding your God small that prevents the gift of the working of miracles. Think you it is harder for me to work a miracle than it is for me to make it rain. Think you it is harder for me to work a miracle than for you to take your next breath. The working of miracles must become a small thing to your mind. Your concept of your God must grow. You must understand that there is nothing impossible with Him. Therefore, there is nothing impossible with you. The working of miracles is as nothing to me, says the Spirit of Grace, and your mind must develop to that capacity. As with the gifts of healings, Instant obedience without question to what I say and what I show you is required. Delay, hesitation, kills the working of this gift. But I will perform miracles that will astound you and astound the world if you will follow through on your promise of obedience without question. Many shall come to the Lord, for they shall see the working of miracles as infallible proof that Christ lives and that he lives in you. Instant obedience and respect for the largeness of your God is what causes the working of miracles to be manifested through you. Instant obedience and respect for the largeness of your God is what causes the working of miracles to be manifested through you. The Gift of Prophecy You are more familiar with the gift of prophecy than any of the other gifts. You should know and understand that the many revelations you have written are actually the manifestation of the gift of prophecy, as the mysteries of the gospel unfold to your mind, and your mind becomes one with the mind of Christ, and you think as Him, then every time you speak and utter one of those revelations, that is prophecy. But I do intend to use you more to manifest the mind of Christ and the mind of the Father and the mind of the Spirit on an individual basis to assemblies, to give them the present hour speaking, the present hour mind of the Lord to them, that they may hear and understand and take corrective action. This gift you will flow in much. This gift is easy for you, because of much use in times past. But I am admonishing you to expect greater manifestations of this gift, to bring the present hour speaking of the Lord to individual people and to assemblies that are gathered in His name. Discerning of Spirits As I have already told you regarding discerning of spirits, expect this gift to be more finely honed in you day by day. You have operated more in this gift, more than you have realized, and in Sue it is very finely tuned. For now, trust this gift in her more than in yourself. She flows in this one quite readily. But both of you shall grow in it as your awareness of my presence to manifest it for you, increases. You shall see into the realm of the Spirit, and you shall discern the motivations, the intents, and the purposes that are in the hearts of men. The former comes primarily by vision. The latter comes primarily by the inner witness. Sometimes the latter comes by my speaking in your ear. Do not dismiss these things. They are how I manifest the discerning of spirits in your life. You will use all of the gifts to help people, not to harm them. Many of these things that I show you shall be secret, not even to be spoken unless I say so. As your mind develops to flow in more love with the mind of Christ, you will know how to use these gifts to bless people. Remember, 
All of these things are manifested to rescue the Lord's sheep, never to harm them. Diverse Kinds of Tongues You are well acquainted with one of the four diversities of tongues, but you have limited me in using you in the other three. Study again the lesson I recently gave you on that subject. If you expect me to manifest the other three, I will, whenever they are required. Most often you will find that you operated in this gift after the fact. But I will see to it that the reports get back to you, to build you up with experience and to increase your reason for hope. Interpretation of Tongues Interpretation of tongues is a gift you will flow in not often, for I use the young in this gift as an entry level. But whenever it is required, for there are those who are timid or afraid or not sure to step out and give the interpretation of a tongue, then you will learn to recognize my nudge, my gentle push, my gentle leading, so that the understanding is not lost to the congregation, so that they do receive from the mind of Christ. But understand that with this gift, I primarily use it to school the young. For many, this is the platform from which they launch out into the working of the other gifts. So be not amazed that I use the young, but be ready if I do call upon you, says the Spirit of Grace. You should know that I am enjoying this fellowship more than you. How seldom, how seldom, do I get to sit down in fellowship with the Father's sons like this. Many think I have no emotions, that I have no feelings. Such is not the case. I have all emotion. I love. I feel. I can be grieved, and I can be pleased. I am full of joy as we walk together, and fellowship one with another. Think not that I derive no pleasure from this fellowship, for I surely do. And understand that the Father and the Son are rejoicing as they watch your fellowship with the Spirit increase. For as your fellowship with me increases, you will find your fellowship with the Father and with the Son shall increase also. Look forward with great joy to those days, says the Spirit of Grace. You should know that as you become more expert at coming to this quiet place where you hear my voice in your spiritual ear, it will no longer be required that you isolate yourself and be in a quiet place free from all external distractions. For now it is necessary. This is new to you. But understand the day shall shortly come when the loudest voice you hear shall be mine, even in the midst of the hurricane and the storm and the raging seas. No matter how loud the circumstances, no matter how vicious the attacks, the most easily heard voice shall be my voice in your ear. Oh, great times are ahead, my son. Great times are ahead. Be full of hope. Be full of joy. Be full of expectation. Most of all, be full of awareness that I am with you.